Hey folks, uh, welcome to week four, Digital Film Lighting One. Uh, I'm going with a <laughs> image of myself this evening to conserve bandwidth because I like to open and close videos and open and close pages and windows and uh, and uh, it's easier for me if I don't use video for myself, which is uh, the least important aspect of what we're talking about here. Um, but I want to talk to you about uh, your week four uh, wrap-up, uh, closing projects and business for the month, and uh, what to look forward to, um, what's ahead. So um, let's talk about, let's pull up your uh, week four duty roster here. We've got, uh, obviously you guys uh, uh, have your read and view already. You should be already plowing into that, um, taking a look at what's uh, being discussed there. We have uh, your discussion for week four, which is going to be due uh, tomorrow night, uh, your original post tomorrow night by midnight. And uh, that's basically your final thoughts on your... Uh, lighting one experience. So um, your post is, um, uh, and obviously we want you to be, uh, excuse me, we want you to be honest uh, about your experience. So um, just, uh, you know, give us a statement about what you learned in the past month. Uh, don't over embellish, but don't spare uh, any of your feelings either. So if you have if you've had for some reason a um, a less than uh, enjoyable experience, uh, please let you know. Let us know that as well, because that always helps to tailor the course towards better experience. Uh, if you can tell us um, what you felt uh, was um, was lacking, but uh, let us know what you've learned, obviously, um, and cite some examples. Um, Things that are new to you now that you didn't know coming into the course. And uh, be as in-depth as you can. Give us as much detail as you can, you know, without creating a, you know, a six-page document. We don't need to get into a, a deep discussion about um, everything because I know you learned so much this month. But uh, give us the uh, highlights. So, um, I'm asking for 300 words just because... Um, you know, I don't think any discussion post, um, even one as easy and simple as this one, um, uh, is satisfactory in less than say three paragraphs. Um, you just can't sum up your experience of four weeks in a line or two lines or even one paragraph. I don't think, um, unless you're an exceptional, uh, wordsmith, which I don't expect you to be at this point. So, um, you know, give me, I mean, 300 words is, you know, maybe a page, maybe. Um, so, uh, you know, give us a little something to work with. Um, then post your responses as you normally would uh, by midnight on, uh, on Sunday. And um, remember, respond to uh, as many of your fellow students as you can. Uh, I always base the grading on the minimum performance, right? So, obviously, if you don't respond to anybody, you're not going to get any better than an 80. Respond to one person, you're not going to do any better than a 90. If you respond to two people and you have a decent original post, you're going to get a, a perfect grade. Uh, but obviously, the goal is to make as many connections as you can, make as many friends as you can, Um just because some of you are sprinkled across the, the map of the United States doesn't mean that you won't ever see these people or uh, visit with these people or um, meet them in person in some, you know, predestined event or location. Um, you never can tell where you're going to run into people. The film business seems like it's an, it's an immense thing, but it, it really isn't. Uh, those of us who work long and hard enough in the film business end up meeting each other eventually. 
So it's not out of the realm of possibility that you'll run into these folks again. So if you can create a quality experience and a, and a, a lasting friendship, all the better from these discussion posts. So keep that in mind. Um, but moving on, um, <clears throat> we also have your last quiz. Uh, that's open till uh, uh, Sunday night as well. And then your, your final project, lighting a scene, and you got a couple of options. Um, you're going to produce uh, three shots that can be edited together uh, comprehensively to form a very short scene. So you're going to need some form of a wide shot, a medium, or a close-up, and a cutaway. And so you're going to want those shots to be harmonious, function well together. I mean, you don't want a super wide shot, then a super close-up, uh, and then an insert that's not going to cut well. So be um, be judicious about your choice, your shot choices, and see if you can design something a little bit that, um, that works well together. Um, and you don't have to go uh, nuts with this. Uh, it can be, uh, I had a student turn in an assignment um, a month or so ago, and his film was all about making a cup of coffee. So uh, you can, with a very mundane subject, come up with a very uh, creative and entertaining uh, short little video clip um, that's easy to watch and demonstrates a few of the simple lighting skills that we've tried to cultivate in you this month. Um, that's it. Um, telling a story without words. That's the premise of this whole thing. So estab uh, your establishing shot will, uh, uh, could be an actor in a living room, medium shot uh, showing his or her concern. Maybe they receive a phone call. Cutaway could be a watch or a clock or a cell phone. Um, all three shots should tell a story uh, uh, with some sort of time stamp um, so that we uh, can derive some sort of story from it. Uh, and then, of course, there's an optional challenge here. You can emulate um, the video that's embedded here for you. Give it a look. See if you're interested in anything like that. Um, it may involve a couple of people in your shot uh, and a little bit more coordination than you need in your first one. So give it a look, see what you think. If you want a little bit of a harder challenge, here's one for you here in your optional challenge. Um, give it a try and uh, send me something uh, send me something good looking. Remember, every one of these projects that you do at some point can contribute to your final portfolio class uh, and go on a reel that you'll use um, as a self-promotional tool when you get out of college uh, to show prospective clients and things, the work that you did while you are in film school. So uh, what am I telling you? Try to produce this a little bit. Don't just give me, uh, you know, a bunch of, you know, loosely cohesive shots that, yes, they go together, but uh, they're not very pretty or they're not crafted very well or they're just sort of bare minimum effort. Uh, put a little think into this and see what you come up with and, and, and make something good looking that you can put on a reel and call your your best work uh, when you start looking around for a job outside in the world. Okay, let me get back to this and mention one more thing. We have your student course evaluation, which opens on the 25th and uh, another day. And you can turn it in up to the 5th of November. This is important for us, guys, whether you, whether you realize it or not, because your feedback is important. Now, I ask you for your final thoughts in your discussion post. If there's something you don't feel comfortable sharing in that forum, but it's something you feel we need to know, like something you feel is significantly wrong with the course, for instance, um, you might want to mention it in the student course evaluation. Uh, we'll take that information and we'll consider your testimony on uh, things that uh, might need to change or improve with the course. Of course, conversely, you can flatter us uh, as much as you want on the student course evaluation as well. If you're just so happy with the class that you're, you're bursting at the seams if you don't tell someone, uh, you can absolutely use the student course evaluation for that sort of feedback as well. We love to hear when we've done a good job, but we also are concerned uh, to hear if uh, your experience hasn't been as good as it could have been for some reason and it's possibly something that we can repair. So please do the evaluation. It does go a long way in helping us tune the curriculum 
so that um, every class is um, a a maximized experience for you as the student um, and uh, consider us partners in this um, in this endeavor to prepare you for the job world um, hopefully you've uh, taken a look at all of the policies and things by this at this point in the curriculum I, I would think that you have these three things are at the bottom of all of my classes that you'll take with me so you won't uh, see the last of these here um, they're there for your reference and your protection um, there are some additional resources a couple this month but um, really this this last week is focusing on closing out all of your work all of your assignments and moving on. So what can you expect in the future? Well, this is lighting one. Uh, you'll take in a couple of months, I, I think uh, four or five months from now, cinematography one, um, where you'll start talking uh, camera and camera techniques, uh, putting some of your lighting uh, experience to work for you uh, in an environment where you have to balance your exposures and uh, create basic compositions, um, uh, derive shot lists and information from a script, <clears throat> and um, culminate that experience uh, as well in a uh, series of projects. And then uh, in about uh, three or four months, uh, no, I'm sorry, di directly after cinematograph Cinematography 1 or the month after, uh, you will uh, come back to me for Lighting 2. And in Lighting 2, we're going to take your three-point lighting experience from this month, and we're going to turn it on its head. And we're going to practice shape, texture, color, tone. We're going to talk about themed lighting. We're going to uh, have four projects in that month, one focusing on color, one focusing on horror or science fiction style lighting. We're going to look at drama and action style lighting. And you're going to produce uh, some video clips that use the techniques that we will discuss relative to each one of those themes in a, in a clip of your own. And uh, we're going to practice the, uh, the art of lighting from the perspective of uh, taking uh, themes from a script and translate the, translating them into um, uh, coordinated, um, deliberate uh, lighting and uh, how to affect the audience non-verbally with our lighting styles. So lighting too is usually a, a big hit with the folks uh, and you'll see that uh, in the next few months as well. And then you'll have a quite a break, about a six-month break, I think, um, where you're going to get some other coursework in, and then we will see each other one final time in Cinematography 2, uh, where I'll go over themes with you again, uh, involving techniques and modes of, of, of shooting in cinematography, uh, sort of like in lighting, where we talk about themes and qualities of light in Cinematography 2, we're going to talk about the modes of capture. We're going to talk about your lenses and how, how you can make lens choices that will uh, speak non-verbally of the subject matter in your script. We're going to talk about camera movement and how camera movement affects the mood and tone of a film. Uh, we'll talk deeper about your lighting uh, in ways that uh, we haven't spoken about uh, thus far, uh, new ways of interpreting uh, your lighting and uh, and we'll talk about collaborations with other departments and how uh, many different departments many creatives and many many resources can come together um, in an effort to create one uh, cohesive and effective uh, feature film so you got a lot to look forward to in the coming months and I'm happy to um, I'm happy to be with you on your journey. Uh, I'll do the best that I can to impart as much knowledge to you as, as I can uh, from your readings, from your discussions, and from my personal experience. I've tailored each of these courses to you and selected um, content very carefully for you to read and watch as video. 
Um, I hope that you will do that and 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 treat it with a a degree of um, uh, seriousness um, and focus on and focus on your abilities uh, with lighting and camera and see if there aren't uh, some skills lurking in your skill set that you possibly didn't know you had or give you a few extra uh, techniques to add to your uh, your set of skills that you already possess and, and, and make you a little bit better at what you're doing. Uh, my goal uh, before our time is through um, is to make you aware of the benefits of technology, uh, put you in control of that technology so that you feel confident instead of a victim of um, technique and uh, equipment. Um, and I want you to be able to express yourself with that equipment as effectively as you would with a pen or a pencil or a paintbrush. Um, they're nothing but tools, and they're only effective in the hands of a of a um, a a knowledgeable uh, and practiced professional, which is what you will be at the end of this uh, curriculum. So I look forward to being a part of your experience. So thanks for your participation this month. Thanks for your hard work. Uh, thanks to those of you who attended the GoTo sessions in person, and if I didn't get to see you there, uh, thanks for checking them out uh, on the web page. I know that you have because I was looking at my Google Analytics today, and it seems like a lot of you are checking into the YouTube page to go over the topics that we've covered in classes. Some of the topics uh, are outside of the realm of the classes. Uh, there's a lot of coursework here. There's um, five courses reflected in these videos. There's 87 of them at this point. The number's growing every day. You can reference information from classes. You can go back and look at it months after the fact because you don't always get to access your courses after a month or two uh, that they've been closed. And so here in this format, you can go back and you can research a topic and listen to uh, what I have to say on that uh, particular uh, subject matter. And it's all here and it's all labeled and there's descriptions and um, you can watch them as many times as you want. So there's been a lot of traffic lately. It's been a busy month. So I know that you folks are looking at this and checking in and I appreciate it and I hope you enjoy it. Um, and so this is one more resource that you can take advantage of. So. Uh, think about that while you are working on your courses, and I look forward to seeing you at this point in um, Cinematography 1 or uh, Lighting 2 very shortly. If I miss you at Cinematography 1, please give um, uh, Professor Charles Burkett your undivided attention and your professional courtesy. He's an excellent technician. I enjoy working with him, uh, and we're partners in many ways on the, the coursework and uh, the way in which uh, you guys are uh, presented with the information and uh, the way in which we help you absorb everything that uh, that you're taking in. So um, if I don't see you in Cinematography 1, I will definitely see you in Lighting 2 and then Cinematography 2 uh, at the end, I think, of your third, of your second year here. So have a good evening. Thanks for tuning in. And I will talk to you again very soon.